these are the directions for workplace 1D subtraction bingo. The materials you'll need are two subtraction bingo record sheets, two color pencils, and one deck of number cards. From there, each player will pick either board A or board B to use for their game. After you've chosen that, each player will also draw five cards out of the number deck. Out of those five cards, they will choose three to form an equation. Two of those cards they'll add together and the third card they'll subtract from the sum of the first two. For example, I'm going to pick 6, 10, and 3. So I'm going to do 6 plus 10 equals 16 minus 3 to get an answer of 13. Our next step is to record the problem underneath board A because that's the board I'll be using. So my goal is to find an equation that's equivalent or equal to 13 on board A. And 17 minus 4 is 13, so I will mark an X there. The first player to have four equations in a row wins. This is the end of the directions for Workplace 1D Subtraction Bingo. If you'd like different variations of this game, players can use three cards instead of five to make the game simpler and less strategic so that they can focus on their addition and subtraction strategies. Players can also continue until one player gets three in a row, or they can play until the entire board is crossed out. Players may also choose to make problems with all five cards. First, they add the three cards together, then they add the other two cards together and subtract the sum from the sum of the first three cards. Lastly, players may also choose to use the same board game using two different colored pencils. Players can try to get three problems in a row. In this version, players are also thinking about blocking their partner from getting three in a row.